Hey guys, I am back with another thrift haul. I know you guys are so super surprised I'm doing another thrift haul, but I do have a lot of stuff here, a lot of really good finds, some of which like today's video, I haven't even gone through. So uh, Nick and I both went on like back-to-back -back vacations recently. And so some of the stuff I got when I was gone in Michigan, she has not seen. And then some of the stuff she got while I was gone, um, I have not seen. And so I have a couple of totes here. I think I'm going to do one tote today and then another tote on another video. Um, but we're going to, we're going to go through the goodies together and see what all she got, um, and show you guys, cause you guys are interested in what we are getting, but we'll see how she did. Um, everything unless otherwise specified is a pretty high sell through rate brand. And then if I can, come up with the comps on top of my head. I'll try to give you a range. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Um, right off the top, I see a pretty good brand. It is Clara Sun Wu. Now this brand is super high sell through rate in the plus sizes, which this is. This is a size 1X. Really pretty, like kind of got that um, athletic-y feel to it, which is what everybody's looking for these days. So that's definitely going to do well. Um, I would guess probably 35 bucks for this, maybe a little more just cause it's plus size. Um, but even the smaller sizes lately, we have been getting and then just willing to sit on them a little bit um, for them to sell cause they do have a good following. Uh, next up is the brand Cool, K-U-H-L, in case that's hard to read. This is a size large women's top. This brand makes outdoorsy stuff, and I prefer to pick it up in the men's, but the women's is pretty good as well. And this one, she found new attacks, so that is awesome. Let's see. This is called the Chloe top, and I didn't do comps with any of these, so... I couldn't really tell you. I'm going to guess probably like 30 to $35 flip. Um, and it retailed for $59. I will never say no to new tags. Cool. All right. Next up is a life is good t-shirt. This is more bread and butter for us. It is a size extra, extra large. Same thing with this brand, larger the size, uh, the better. And in women's, we don't generally pick them up if they're smaller sizes, um, unless, you know, they're like a bins find. Um, but the larger sizes usually go 20 to 25 bucks. So that's what we will flip that for. All right, this next one I think she got for a style-based pickup. I'm not familiar um, with this brand, so it may actually be like a really good brand. Um, but we generally have a rule if there's like a high percentage of alpaca, angora, or cashmere, um, we have a heavily, heavily consider getting the item. And so this one is a 70% angora sweater. And the brand's called Wim. Wim Colin, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up. It's made in Hong Kong, so I do believe it, it is vintage. A super soft, fuzzy uh, trim sweater. This is like super like Y2K as well. Um, I saw like with the um, resurgence of like Barbie core, cause that movie's coming out, that Bratz doll is like also an aesthetic that people are looking for. And that would definitely uh, fit that bill. So I think it'll do well. Next up is one of my favorite brands to find in the women's department is Jay McLaughlin. Now this brand is very similar to Lily Pulitzer in that it's known for um, their like multicolor prints. And this is a more plain piece by Jay McLaughlin. However, it should still do well because again, it has that athletic feel to it, which this is their Catalina cloth. Um, and if you've got their signature fabric, they tend to flip a lot quicker. Um, I don't know that exact style, but I would guess that's probably a 30 to $35 flip easily. Next up is a Lulu's dress. We try to stick to the larger sizes, which this is a size XL, um, plus longer lengths. And this is a really nice like Jersey maxi dress, black with pockets. Plus it's new with tags. So she did all of the factor stacking. Um, with it being new with tags, we'll probably ask like 30 to 35 for that just cause it's kind of more plain. Um, but that can be a brand that sometimes performs well for us, but it is more of a bread and butter. 
This is Torrid. It is their Harper line. This is very similar to like Express Portofino tops, those office tops where they have a super high sell through rate. They don't sell for much, but they always sell quickly. Same thing with the Torrid Harper. And it honestly almost looks like the same kind of top with the roll tap sleeve. That's what this is when you've got the convertible sleeve. Um, and I believe these generally go for 20 to 25. And like I said, they have a very, very high sell through rate. So if you can get them for cheap, definitely pick them up. Next up is Talbots. We almost exclusively get this in plus size, which this is. This is a nice button up top. Um, animal print, this is probably gonna go for 25. Definitely more of a bread and butter. Uh, same thing with Chico's in larger sizes. This is the Chico's Travelers size two, again with the athletic-y feeling blouse, really in right now, um, and an asymmetric hem. A lot going for it. Try to factor stack with that one too and try to get like a more unique artsy piece. And I think that one probably only a $25 flip, but still. Lauren Ralph Lauren, this is a 100% linen shirt. It is a much smaller size, so we'll see how that does, but I would guess 25. What do we have? Uh, this is a brand that we like to get, but we do know we'll typically have to sit on it. Um, it reminds me of Joseph Ribkoff a lot, where it retails for a lot. It does have a following, but it doesn't have a 100% sell through rate. It is Carlisle. This is one of their more older labels. This is a wool blend stretchy sweater probably 30 to 35 on that this is a really pretty color what are you this is also one we get exclusively in plus size susan graver 2x a nice uh, velvety faux wrap ruched top usually i can only get like 25 bucks max for that so that's probably what we'll list that one for Another plus size brand we like getting is Catherine's. This is Maggie Barnes for Catherine's. Um, definitely want to stick to the larger sizes and something like have a substantial factor. This one is um, a 3X. It is a button up and it is floral print, three quarter length sleeves. Next up, do we have a free people top, just a size medium just a little little shirt i'm gonna guess she probably got this for really cheap and we're probably gonna list it for like 18. this feels like cashmere beth bowley i'm not familiar with that but this is a really gorgeous cashmere sweater a lot of intricate details. Cashmere is something that just seems to sell well all year around for us. Um, so we're on the hunt for cashmere pieces. Um, and that is one I think you like a factor you can rely on pretty heavily. Another plus size, this is Logo by Lori Goldstein, 2X, uh, cardigan top, 25. Lots of bread and butter. I know you guys like seeing the bread and butter too. So good we have this in here. Um, this is more of a designer piece that should retail for a lot. Alice and Olivia. This is a size small, like marled knit speckled sweater. I don't know about this. Um, Alice and Olivia is another one that it really depends on the style, but typically we like to get because it does retail for a lot. Um, but we are probably going to sit on it, but we're willing to do so. Um, I would guess that's probably going to be like $40, $50. Here's a line and Banana Republic. We love getting their Banana Republic travel jeans or traveler jeans. Sometimes they say, um, this is a slim fit. We can usually get about 30 to $35 for these. And um, even though they do say jean, I bet you at the thrift store prices at five bucks just because they're more like a pant, but that's a very high sell through rate popular style in Banana Republic. Pretty easy to come across too. Here is a Chico's. This is a faux suede, very fringy Western 
little blazer jacket. This is pretty cool. I could see that going under Barbie core as well. Um, I would guess about 30 to 35 on that. Talbot's larger size, but it is a, uh, not plus size, but still larger, but beachy knit open sweater. Those are really popular right now. Um, 25 on that, still pretty bread and butter. Ooh, another cashmere. This is a good find. This is White and Warren, and their cashmere pieces do pretty good. 100% um, cashmere, and this has a very, um, I don't know, I guess Y2K look to it, so we'll probably include those keywords. I think we usually get for White and Warren, I don't know, this is off the top of my head, I'm guessing like 35 to 40 for that sweater maybe. I think some other pieces, if they're more, um, more modern than that one, you might be able to get more. All right, this is pretty. What are you? Ooh, this is a really good find. This is Farm Rio by Anthropology. I think I've only found this brand myself one time, um, and the style I had did not do well for me. Um, but recently, a few of my wholesalers actually have been finding this brand and sending it to us, so that's been pretty cool. Um, size large too so that's going to be really nice really gorgeous i think this is a skirt a midi skirt um i'd have to do a comp on this but typically this brand performs well by anthropology and some of their pieces can go for like over a hundred dollars like their dresses and stuff um if i had a guess probably 40 to 50 on that this one is spanx assets by Spanx. We have really good luck with Spanx. I'm trying to figure out the size. It's really hard to see. Oh, it's a 1X. So nice plus size, like compression leggings. Probably 25, maybe 30 on those. Chico's Travelers. This is a slinky knit cardigan, which performs really well for us, size two. This one kind of has some interesting um, details to it as well on the edges. So that should perform well. Oh, it's all tangled up. I was like, why is this not laying right? There we go. Uh, the more artsy the stuff with Chico's, I realize the better. Um, I would say 25 on that. This is Abercrombie. I've I have really good luck with a lot of Abercrombie stuff lately. This is called the Skinny Taper Stretch Pant. Um, again, with the athletic-y feel, but looking a little bit more like casual, really in right now. So this is probably a really modern style. These are a pair of men's joggers, size medium. Um, Abercrombie joggers in both men's and women's perform extremely well. Uh, so if you see that taper at the bottom, definitely worth looking into. And again, just in general, like athletic-y feeling materials, but casual looking stuff is the best way I could describe it. Performs well. Um, I would guess 25 to 30 on those. This is another one we get exclusively in plus sizes. It's Foxcroft. This is a size 18W. Button up, nice paisley print and that should go for 25 those ones flip quickly um, as well if you price them right here's another chico's slinky item chico's travelers um, this one's like a i don't know like a turtleneck sweater top almost 25 all over sequins. What are you? Eden Code. I've never heard of this. Never heard of it, but we do have really good luck with all over sequin things. Not to say we pick everything up, um, but man, this looks like a concert thing. I wonder if like a celebrity wore this or something. I might have to look that up and see. Um, just off the top of my head, I'm guessing like 35 to 40, but I could be completely off the mark. Maybe that's like a huge bolo. Um, where are you? You guys ever have those pieces like you're trying to do 
photographs on and like no matter what you do you can't find the brand label or you can't figure out how it's supposed to lay on a person we have some things we spend way too much time on this i feel like is going to be one of those this is soft surroundings um, i do like picking up soft surroundings in a lot of things definitely plus size has a higher sell through rate but there are some um styles that even in smaller sizes will do well uh, but this should flip really really quickly i am guessing 30 to 35 on that just because it's plus size that stuff always does really well for me in soft surroundings this looks like another plus size yep Catherine's 3x and you can see it's got you know a little bit more substantial stuff going for it kind of a tunic length has a nice print three-quarter sleeve has some little jewels on it as well 25 bucks uh here is another lauren ralph lauren smaller size but 100 percent linen top um, and it does have a roll tab sleeve as well so i'm guessing the other one did also and a nice tan color um 25 again maybe 30 on that marine layer some of their stuff can perform well this is a larger size so it's probably the reason we got it um long sleeve very nautical looking which is what this brand is known for hence the marine layer brand name long sleeve cotton shirt that's probably just a 25 dollars flip but it should flip quickly here's another one of those chico's travelers this is a newer label little top 25 bucks this slinky material stuff, it it flips really quickly if you price it right. Here's another white and Warren. This one's a silk. Pretty top. Um, again, I think maybe like 30, 35 on that. I'm just guessing here. Talbot's XL gauzy plaid button up top, 25 bucks, maybe 20. Oh, this is heavy. Who are you? Ooh, a Banana Republic leather, suede leather jacket. Very cool. Um, some of the Banana Republic, like older, more unique stuff can perform really well. And I'm guessing this will. I'm guessing at least 50 bucks on this, um, but probably more than that. That's a really cool piece. Super Western too. This is a Maeve by Anthropology, size large, size large and up, and Anthropology brands perform really, really well for me at least. Not a whole lot, depending on the style. This is just a button up top. Striped tunic, I'm guessing 25 on that. Another torrid piece, little peplum top. Torrid's really slowed down for us, so we try to focus on like, um, I don't know, a little bit of a wow factor that has like butterflies and flowers on it, so probably 25 bucks. This is a Knox Rose Top Size XXL. This brand's still performing pretty well for me if it's in larger sizes. This is a really pretty um, embroidered peasanty top in a larger size. List that for 20 to 25. And then last item of the haul is a Catherine's 5X. Now 5X in Catherine's and Torrid and stuff flies for me. 4X, 5X, it flies. So I would guess that that size is not very common to come across and people buy it up really quickly. This is a really pretty top. It's got like the, uh, what's it called? Like, I don't know if it's creepy material. It's like accordion pleats cold shoulder and a nice emerald green color super flowy um that could probably go 25 to 30 just because of the size um and i've noticed with that brand and like i said tore it as well it just it it flies like it sells within like a week if it's a four or five x so happy with those finds a lot of that was bread and butter although there were some like really good pieces in there like um the Alice and Olivia sweater, that Banana Republic suede jacket, and then we have like two white and worn pieces. So very happy with that haul. And um, I'm gonna end today's video here so that the haul doesn't get too long. And I'm gonna film another one right now and dive in to the next bucket. 
Are you guys enjoying these thrift hauls still? I feel like I've been doing so many of them, um, but I think it's good to show you, um, you know, different things, not only from me, but also from uh, Nikki or, you know, some of the wholesalers or other resellers we're buying from. It's just good to see a good mix of stuff because we're getting stuff from like different states too. So, you know, I'm in Ohio. Not everyone watching me is going to find the brands that I find in Ohio. So I find it very helpful to churn through some of these. And also if you are following along, you know, month to month and you're watching every single thrift haul, first of all, thank you for supporting this channel. Um, but I would also think it's pretty beneficial because as seasons start to change, uh, you'll be able to follow along with what we're picking up seasonally. And probably here in, I would say like three weeks, we'll probably start focusing more on fall stuff. I know that's been a question I've gotten a lot from you guys is, are you going to start picking up fall stuff now? You mentioned you're trying to stay ahead. Um, you know, we picked up some cashmere pieces in this haul. So there are like higher end pieces or like high end factors that we're still looking for, but we're not focused on it right now. Here in about three weeks though, when August hits, we'll start rerouting our focus and start um, looking for those fall pieces and switching to like fall colors and what people wear in fall and really trying to get ahead of that. And that so far this year has been very successful for us. So I'm um, looking forward to doing that and also starting to slow down on like the shorts, the tank tops, the sleeveless dresses and things like that and shift our focus. So hope that you guys found this haul helpful. If you're not already and you would like to be, don't forget to subscribe down below. And then if you do that and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every single time that I post a thrift haul. I post a lot of thrift hauls. So if you like that, I'm sure you would like um, joining me for that. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.